In this session, we will be learning how we can enable the change log for a table and how we can display the change log using the T code SCO3. So now let's directly jump into the system and see how we can enable the change log and capture the log and display the log. So already we have this table go into the change mode, go to the technical settings and this we have to you know enable so click on this enable and click on this save so this checkbox is now enabled this is the important setting in order to capture the change log so it's saved now just to go back and click on this activate button make sure that you are going to do the changes with the help of tmg so tmg should be there already for this table i have the tmg now for example i want to change from this pankaj to pankaj kumar and others to other sharma click on this save button now go to the transaction sco3 and we will analyze the change log give the table name customizing objects the start date and end date and alv grid just select and click on this execute so here you can see that the changes is captured others to other sharma and pankaj to pankaj kumar so this is how you can display the change log and enable the change log